Welcome to this course on Tractor DJ by Native Instruments, which is a really amazing DJ application for the iPad. I'd have to say it's probably the best one I've ever used, and it certainly takes things to the next level as far as using your iPad for live performance and creativity goes. It's a really incredible app. It's very nicely put together, and it fully supports touch interface, as you might expect. It's been engineered from the ground up by NI, to uh, work beautifully on the iPad. It works on an iPad 2 or higher, including the iPad mini. So all you iPad mini owners out there can take advantage of it too. As you can see, it looks a little bit like a pared down version of Tractor for your Mac or PC, which it sort of is, um, but it is very much its own application as well. You can see that it has various sections, which we'll talk about in a little while. It's pretty straightforward to use. Even if you're not necessarily a, an experienced DJ, if you're just a beginner who's looking to get into DJing, or if you just want to have some fun with your tunes, it's a really amazing app to work with. You can see that I can swipe around. It's really nicely put together. It's got all the controls you need just at your fingertips. You can use it just with a pair of headphones if you're playing around, or you can connect it, as we will see, to some sort of specialized audio interface, either using the camera connection kit or some other variant on, uh, on those kinds of devices. So let's have a quick look at the different sections. This is the, uh, the main two deck section. You get two decks, which is um, okay. It's uh, some people would like four. I don't suspect that that is a realistic prospect considering the processing power that is required just to run these two because as we'll see it's a very very powerful application but if you're pretty good at what you do you can learn to uh, do great things with two decks if I swipe from the bottom upwards here you can see that my decks remain visible there at the top I have a little crossfader which also remains visible there's a search field and this lower area of the screen is my track browser and we'll talk about that in a little while. One thing that is quite interesting that you might want to look at is the notification center. Now that's actually a help center really. On iOS you might think of a notification center as being something that flashes up Facebook and uh, iMessage. In Track to DJ the notification center is something quite different and if I tap on this little I button at the top here you can see that there is a list of tasks and techniques and basically this is the help section and since I've been using this for a while all these have actually been done which means that they're shown in blue if you haven't done any of these if you haven't sort of unlocked any of these features then the ones you haven't managed to do yet will be shown in red. And this is a very good quick introduction to Tractor DJ. If you tap on any of these, I'm going to tap on, for example, let's say set a loop. And it opens up a scrollable window explaining how to use the app. So that's really nice. If you have been playing with it already, if you open the notification center and look up some of the things you may not have done yet, and you can tap on them and it just explains to you how those things work, which is really helpful. So it's a good idea to work your way through those and see how you get on. Let's have a quick look next at the preferences section. I can swipe to close this notification center. And in a moment, I'm going to tap on the preferences. <laughs> 